Hello, Patrick Walchuk here, bringing you the analysis, the financial analysis on a property as we do with you every month. So what we did is selected a building that sold in September of 2022, and we'll break down the financials for you. And if you enjoy getting these, click on uh, the notification bell and subscribe, and we'll get them sent out to you every 30 days. So this building was six units. It's in the near west end of Ottawa. It's inside the Greenbelt. It's not Canada. <clears throat> and it was listed for $1,500,000 and it sold for a million four twenty five now the scheduled rental income on it was a little over eighty two thousand closer to eighty three thousand dollars and then when we deduct three percent for vacancy and bad debt and come up with our effective rental income that gives us a price of eighty thousand dollars so that was a true income if you will Operating expenses were 24783 and when you add in maintenance and management costs, uh, the total operating expenses were almost $33,000, and that leaves us with an NOI of $47,300. So what does that mean when we start um, crunching out the numbers? The capitalization rate on the building is 3.3%, so that's on the low side. The operating expense ratio was about 41%. That is average to high average. I'd like to see that a little bit lower. Um, it is what it is. Now, in terms of the what, what it sold for, uh, in terms of the gross, it sold for 18 times the gross. That also is a little on the high side. You know, I'd prefer to see that around 12 to 14. And in terms of the net, it sold for a very high net multiple of 30. That should be more like 21 to 24. So looking at the cap, and the gross multiplier and the net multiplier, it's kind of leading us down the path that this may not be a profitable property with a 35% down payment. So the 35% down payment, we see that's about a half a million dollars, gives us um, a, a mortgage of 926,000 and our annual debt service, that's the total amount that we pay in mortgage in one year uh, of about 68,000. So we know our NOI, we know what our mortgage mortgage payments are, that gives us a negative cash flow of $20,549. And again, I have to stress that's using a 35% down payment. And that gives us an, an ROI, a negative ROI actually, of over minus 4%. So my take would be that the individual who purchases property probably had more than 35% down payment. Now, a bit of a wild card here as well is that um, we used a mortgage rate of 5.5%, which is a tad on the high side I guess that we could have actually gone in at five but still we would have had significant negative numbers down here thank you for watching